Good morning. Good morning, YouTube. I'm still here doing a little bit of prep. Doing some prep stuff. Hopefully we are good to go. We got a subscriber. Cool. Okay. Do this. Are you guys out there? Did I do it right? <laughs> Shoot, almost first time, both of y'all at the same time. How is everyone doing this morning? I actually have to pull a file. My, I used my Betty Dyer. I used my case yesterday, mobile grooming. Woohoo! I love it. It's beautiful. I gotta pull some files out. Good morning, everyone. We've got a schnauzer coming in today. Two schnauzers. Two schnauzers, but I think I'm only doing one live. I got a little bit of break in between them. And, ah, it's perfect. Angel is coming in this morning. Angel has been coming here since June 2018. And guess what? Mommy just had a baby, I believe. And I say that because I haven't heard anything back. Uh, um, so we'll see. You know, you don't know the logistics of everything, right? You don't know the logistics of everything. Ah, what are you guys up to? So I am uh, starting. Where's my BFFs out there helping me remember to do certain things? So I've got this. Let me let's get this over here. I was going to go ahead and put an arm in there. Born with six legs. Seriously. South Africa. South Africa's in the house. That's so cool. I just got off the phone with a YouTube fan. Her name is Julie. She ordered so much stuff. She's out there on an island in Washington State. And she said, Dee Dee, you know, I asked her if I could break down the boxes and throw in a, an extra tool for her instead of sending her all the stuff she ordered in the boxes because it takes up so much space and that way it saves some money on shipping. And she's like, oh, Dee Dee, did you know it's like 20 bucks, what'd you say, Julie? 20 bucks a bag to, to recycle stuff? So she said, please take all the boxes off. So I'm, I'm really just ecstatic about that. Julie, here's your order. So seriously. Some folks are, uh, if you take boxes off, I think some folks don't get it, right? So you take, this is her order, and she's got two, you know these Andis, the clippers, right? They break down into just, I could bubble wrap it, right? So you take this box out, which she said, yeah, I could break this down right now, right? This clipper is just real small with the charger. I mean, it's this right here. Boom. This clipper... You know what I'm saying? Just bubble wrap this is not this. Look at this. 
So I'm going to cut out your blade stuff here, girlfriend, so you'll have all that, Julie. But thanks for letting me recycle your stuff for you because I'm a huge recycler. Man, we try really hard, but then, you know, they had that one uh, YouTube video about recycling, and you see that all they do is throw it away. Doesn't that upset you? This right here, I'm going to cut this out, put this back in this, and then it turns into that, that amount of shipping. Can you imagine? I have to ship this whole thing, how bulky this stupid thing is. I'll take this out as well. Just a tool, right? Bubble wrap stuff. And then everything else is pretty flat. Do you see what I'm saying? Thanks, Julie, for letting me do that. Little does she know I throw in free stuff anyway, don't I? <laughs> She'll just get something better, a better free thing. A better free gift from me. So that's my um, tidbit about recycling. Make sure you guys recycle. I hope you recycle. I really don't want a, a bunch of my stuff end up in the ocean. I, I really try hard not to do that. <sighs> Man, we just really, I started carrying uh, stainless steel straws. If you want some straws, they're really affordable. They're in the gift section, I think. And it's it's been a, you know how I'm trying to do this glove thing, you know, and try to do the eyeglasses thing. It's really a struggle to ch take on new habits, isn't it? You, you guys taken on any new habits recently? Like trying to, what do they say? It takes 30 something days to uh, memorize that habit. So... You go through Starbucks, you've got your stainless steel straw, it's in your briefcase, and you're like, oh, and then you like get the straw from them, and you're like, dang it, it's tainted already, and you go, dang it, dang it, you know, and it's just like, get the straw, put it in your face, if you're going to go through the drive-thru, get the freaking straw, and put it like, I've got a straw, <laughs> have your straw before you have your payment, and you'll be like, I'm earth friendly, <laughs> But am I right? It's really hard. Like, how many times has it been you guys reminding me, where's my BFF out there trying to tell me to wear my gloves? We have these things that we do that, man, when I see someone flick a cigarette butt, I, I, it really upsets me because you could just put, put it out and put it in your ashtray. Carry an ashtray if your car doesn't have one. Carry an ashtray. You're a smoker. You know, make that moat motivational step to just trying to do a little bit better you know how I already knew this a long time ago because my my um, you know that class ring that you get from high school my class ring had the earth and the peace sign on it <laughs> like that's who I was you know that's who I am is earth friendly peace sign that kind of thing and uh, I looked up then you know how long cigarette butts stay in our ecosystem it's like 30 years forgive me if I'm wrong 30 to 50 years I haven't looked this up in 30 years so how long does a cigarette butt stay in the ecosystem can somebody type that out there for me but it's a long time it doesn't break down so the filter the tobacco the outs not the filter the the white skin stuff and the tobacco that all kind of breaks down and dissolves or whatever goes into the environment but that butt that cigarette butt, it does not dissolve. It just hangs around, um, which it really upset me when uh, the barbershop next door, if they smoke, I would pick it up all the time. I would start saving them and hanging them up. I mean, I'm seriously like, hey, wake up. You actually have a trash right inside, you know? And if it stinks that bad, dude, put, get a trash outside. Um, so then I went and bought a cigarette butt container, which has melted because of the heat here. <laughs> Oh, gosh. Um, we, every day, every day I see people that, you know, that do that, that stuff, that throw that cigarette butt out. And I'm like, here in 105 degrees, it was yesterday, over 105 degrees. Do you not think that that lit cigarette could cause damage? Nope. Throw it out your car, your truck. That's how much we love our, our world right now. Uh, or always have. There's always been that person that litters and that person that doesn't, right? But, uh, so, good morning, everybody. Good morning. That's my little tidbit, I guess, on recycling and cigarette butts. And those of you guys watching, you know, cigarette butts. <laughs> but, yeah, so, I'm going to send that your uh, package, Julie. It was so big, I was like, I have to get her on the phone and ask her about this packaging. Because she did uh, go over the threshold, so anything over 400 is free shipping. But I pay the shipping, okay? I personally pay that. And... If I can, if I can get lower the shipping to give you something you could use, I'd rather do that. 
then have all, you know, who cares how expensive the shipping is? I do. I care because I still have to pay for it. Somebody has to pay for that shipping. It's free. All these businesses doing free shipping. Do you not know? They are paying for shipping. Um, nothing is free, you guys. Okay, so we got the schnauzer coming in. She should be here any minute. Let me go change my shoes. And then um, double check on a couple of tools that are, need to clean them up while we're waiting. How about that? Betty Dyer yesterday I got to use my scissor holder I just love it so much I only have two left on the scissor holder the tool holder because it's not just for tool scissors I've got my nail clippers in here I've got my 8.5 I got my hemostat I have my 6.5 a cheap one I don't say cheap I say inexpensive you know affordable I should put my ear shear oh it's perfect you guys just perfect so now we're going to put everything back over here. I do have um, the towel on here so hairs don't attract, because they already are going to attract to my thing. So you got to use your little sticky roller, which I think we have some on our website to make sure you know where to get sticky rollers if you don't get them from me. But I buy them in bulk, so then I try to offer some of the stuff I buy in bulk, I try to break it down so it's... It's an easy sell because it's so cheap. You know what I'm saying? So I put the towel down there. It's a three-fold. Mine's a three-fold. Loopy loop. See, when somebody um, wants to do something, Betty Dyer sent me stuff. I didn't have to go find her or whatever. I kind of told her what I needed, but she just did it. I actually saw something I, that she made, a stand cover for me, uh, for herself. And I said, who made your stand cover? Your dog up stand cover. And she says, I did. I said, oh my gosh, that is so beautiful. I, I really would like to buy some from you. And so she sent me a bunch of stuff and I paid her. And it's just been a relationship like that. So you look at like how somebody just, hey, Dee Dee, can I sew you? No, just do it. And then you might be like, oh my gosh, now I'm in business, <laughs> right? Like, oh my gosh, Dee Dee is definitely a following through. If I send her something, she never leaves me empty handed. And you have to have the initiative. Get that initiative. That initiative is dying. It used to be really profound in the 80s. But now it's a matter of just like, hey, will you, can I do this? And then, you, you know, you drop the ball. And I see that a lot. Hey, Dee Dee, can I come in and groom for you? Haven't seen that person in weeks. You see what I'm saying? Hey, Dee Dee, can, can, you, can I try to, you know, I'll come in and show you my demos. Okay. Never heard from that person again. Hey, Dee Dee, you know, can I come help you bathe dogs for a volunteer, this and that? Never heard from that person again. So when you want something, when you desire something, the motiva motivation, the initiative, that's all on you. Um, there's a lady I just, uh, met, did I guys tell you that? That Hawaiian, oh, you guys don't know, it was on next door. So there's a company that opened up down the street and they have a chicken katsu. So I went in there to, and ordered some chicken katsu the other day. Mind you, the cl the early the most the let me see here the closest chicken katsu Hawaiian food or um, a little bit of Japanese food like the authentic you know curry with rice that kind of thing is all the way in Frisco, which is like an hour from me. So when this company opened up, boy, I powwowed for them on next door, and. Next door is an app for your neighborhood. And it brought in so much business. So I finally was able to go up there myself. And I, I did order it to go. David had picked it up and we had some. It was great. So I had powwowed for them. So it's not like I didn't have their food, right? So I tried their food, loved it, powwowed for them because they were new. And I want them to be successful. So I recently was able to go in and I saw how busy they were and how it was over 20 minute wait on my food. But this is a husband and wife, child, and busy, and I saw a lot of walking back and forth. And my point is, is that, that initiative, right? So I said, hey girl, 
do you need help? I was like, I will just come in here and just start doing, helping you clean or whatever, get you the pants. I saw her walking back and forth from the back to the front. It was like so difficult. I was like, and I also said, do you need a babysitter? I mean, let me help you get, get going. And then once you get busy enough, you get a staff member, you know, so just go do it. So my point is like the initiative for me to go and say, Hey, let me help you. Let me do that for you. You know, um, would be on me. Right. So just when you want to do something, you have that motivation to do something It's on you to make it happen. Right. Okay. This is too much already this morning. We're done for the day. <laughs> All right. Let's start cleaning some tools. Okay. Let me, let me hide my, my, my uh, tool holder here. All right, so what are you guys up to? You guys have probably already been talking about that. Uh, I just recently kind of cleaned up my haircut because remember I told you I was getting long. How have your hands been since wearing the gloves? Amazing. I need better gloves. This is temporary. Um, they do sweat a little bit, but yesterday I groomed. Um, it was the dog. It was a black dog, like a chow Rottweiler mix or something like that, and it was mobile, and I've done hair her before. To like twice a year I do her shave down and the video is called like no one can tell me not to shave my dog something like that and the gentleman was like I was like do you want to shave your dog he's like yeah I want to shave my dog I shave my dog all the time I've been shaving my dog before I met you you know that did you guys see that video so I went to shave his dog and I could tell you this much I took off the gloves right to bathe her because these gloves suck look how loose they are water gets in there it gets all loopy doopy and my hands get all like you've been to the pool for an hour. And so I've taken, I learned to take up these gloves. I learned to take off during the bath. But as soon as I took them off and then I rubbed my hands back and forth with the shampoo, I was like, oh, I was like, oh, that, that splinter stuff can happen in the bath too. So I was like, okay, no more rubbing against the hair, like against the grain, you know what I mean? Like really hard rubbing. I was like, oh no, no, I could feel it like almost enter my skin. And so I, re I, really feel amazing wearing these gloves and they're a little hard to get used to I was doing some ear scissoring yesterday and I was like constantly cutting my own gloves because they're so loose but these are the wrong gloves but I am glad I have something protecting my fingers because I have not had a splinter since I started wearing gloves and who would have thought so if you want some gloves just wait until I get a whole bunch to wait until I get well don't wait if you can afford it go ahead and go go get it but I'm gonna try on several other brands which I haven't had time to order so I'm gonna try several brands and I'm gonna pick what I feel like worked the best so if you want to wait for me to kind of go through all that then the mo I'm gonna waste that money right because you are gonna go through like this where you're like those don't work so then how long is it gonna take me to actually use up these gloves so that's the same thing with the clippers you know how many years it took me to find the right clipper the lightest clipper years so if you bought this clipper, this clipper, this clipper, this clipper, you and I both have spent all this money. If you just let me do all this troubleshooting and then come down to say this is the best glove to get, then <laughs> I would say lotion up or powder up. And that might be something I could try as well to see if it works. So our night, let me see if she wrote me or something like she's nine different ways with my phone. No, she didn't say anything. I hope that we, girl. Let me make sure. I need to clean some of the blades. 9.30 is it. And let me double check. Hey girl, if you need me to come outside and get Angel, let me know. You don't have to come in if you got the baby with you. Let me just let that, put that out there. Okay, silence my phone. And let's do a couple blade things here. Got my original monkey cord on this. It's amazing. Uh, the Anna Spice Bee Center need um, two original monkey cords. And this allows me to not like get bundle up my wire. Okay, go ahead and put your face mask on now. This will be helpful while you clean your stuff. So I put this lamp behind me. Does that throw you guys off at all? Oh, Mary, you're saying that your hands get dry grooming or with the glove?
Nikki, I think the cordless clippers I have are the Bravura. You have to go to myfavoritegroomer.com when bathing without gloves. Oh, yeah. So it might depend on um, the shampoo, the soap, the conditioner, and all that probably plays a role. Do you all... Do you always use, um, what's up, Jesse girl? Jesse, did you email me? Sometimes emails and stuff don't match up, you know what I mean? Because I had written a gamer girl recently, and she goes, I don't know why I'm watching you, but. <laughs> I really connected with those of you who I sent that prayer to. Oh, here she is. Hey, girl. Goodness. So I've been telling YouTube here, they're listening. I said, I think she's had her baby, but I don't know yet. Nope. His due date. It's September 1st, but he's measuring almost two weeks early, and I'm already oh. dilated, so. Oh, dilated. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. D get, let me get you back in the car. <laughs> I, gotta, I gotta keep moving. Well, that's a good thing, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, let me switch out to seven. I'll come get your baby doll. Are we doing our normal haircut, or what, what are we wanting today? Um, yeah, just normal nice stuff. Clean up, snatch her cut. Okay. How's, how's she loving this heat? She hates it. She hates it? How can you tell? Because she's constantly biting at her feet from oh, sweating. Really? Oh my goodness. Angel, come here, girl. Her incision looks good from getting fixed. Oh yeah? Oh yeah. Oh, finally. Oh yeah. Was it's it for like a month? She tried to lift the hell out. Really? I was, she did so good. You should have called me. I would have given you a loner comfy comb. Oh, did you get a comb yet? I had yet? a sweater on it. Okay. Yeah, and that worked? shirt and it worked. Really? Yeah. Good. Butt first here. Let me get your bum. There you go. So, just text me. Oh. I so, bet it's exhausting too, right? It's fun and exhausting. It's, just wait till he gets here. If you need I'm help, not will you let me know? Because it's really. like, I think your body is just telling you. Yeah. Yeah. Well, if you need anything, I'm just a call away. And I'm being very really serious. If you need a grocery run, just call me. Well, they've come hey. a long ways with groceries delivered Yes, they now have. Yes, they have. And stuff, so I'm like, I've got But this. if you need something, just call. Okay. Dee, Dee, we need a break. I mean, something. Okay, okay you know I'll step in and help. So what are you going to do with her? Are you just going to trim her up like she normally is? Yeah, she needs all this. Okay. I'm just going to do exactly what we normally do. Yeah. yeah. Cool. All right. All right, sweetie. Me. Sounds good. We'll be live on YouTube if you want to watch. Okay. I definitely need my 18 inch. She's gonna have the baby here. <laughs> Get her. She says she's dilated, man. What's up, girl? What's up, girl? Let me turn you around this way, do a bit. Okay. Is that okay? Do that. You guys want me to put some uh, filters on the camera? <laughs> I had to say that. You guys know I do those filters, man. <sighs> Julie, there you go. Did you see the beginning of the video, Julie? I showed you all their product. Because my fear is if I take down the boxes, people think like, it was opened and that's not the case so I wanted to be like here's all your stuff you know it is closed I saw so I asked her can you FaceTime do you want to do video but I'll send all the, the like um, you know the back of the box it has something this and that you know what I mean I'll send all that but if I could break down the box Woo! did you see the beginning of the video Julie Man, I'm telling you. Let me see if this light changes anything. Let me see. Let me see. No, it doesn't do it. It doesn't affect this hair. Before you buy a spotlight, you need to please let me know so I can point you in the right direction, man. These things are not cheap, and it should work. Like, it should be a set deal. Go later on, watch the very beginning, okay? Because I showed you all your stuff, and I kind of talked about you a little bit. All right, let me double check now. We've got Angel in the house. So, 10 by 4 guard. So, 10, 10, uh, down, or whatever you want to call it. I need to be on. Um, it's freaking hot up in here. 
If you guys haven't been watching the temperatures here in Texas, we are hitting and leveraging the hottest days of the, of the year, and it's always in August, right? Mostly always in August. We're talking 105 degrees yesterday, you guys. So, gosh. Here we go. <laughs> All right, we're gonna come up here and start at the neckline. I always like starting at the neckline and then I just finish off with the face. I don't know what this. So we got a tin blade. I'm actually using an ultra edge right now. But I'm gonna probably go through three or four tin blades. I got my and is five speeds. If you're ordering and is five speeds somewhere else, uh, and it's really, really cheap, you might not be getting the right thing. Okay, I just want you to know that. And if you want my tool list, it explains it in there. There's a news article done by a news station on it. So if you want that, you're gonna have to email me. You gotta do some research. Find my email on my website and email me. So here you see me just kind of come down and just lightly come up. Except for this part, just straight down right there. Just lightly come up there. And that's kind of learning your to fade it, fading that line. And we're going to come back with the four guard, so it's going to kind of go away a little bit. And come over here and do this one. Who knows why I constantly turn off my clippers. What am I doing when I constantly turn off my, if I'm not on the dog and I turn off my clippers, why do I do that? doing that yeah Natalie that's it Morgan that's it Joe that's it woohoo that's what I'm talking about if you can program your hand to learn your clippers which is sucks that's why when you learn new clippers it really just sucks so you don't want to switch your clippers very often but if hey when I switched from my Andis two speed to my Andis five speed and I learned how to it took it took over a couple months to get used to putting my hand here versus the clipper on the Andis two speed, it's up here. So I would actually be able to go on and off, on and off with the two speed, but now I had to come back here. So now with this, I actually have to come back all the way back here like a guitar, yeah? It took me a couple months to learn it and learning means accidents can happen. So you wanna take your time learning your clippers Accidents like nicking the dog, dropping your clippers, dropping the blade, all these things. When you start learning new equipment, it is really tough and you just want to take your time, okay? Don't overdo it and don't try to be fast. Yeah, that's good enough. We're going to come back after the bath anyway, double check stuff, right? Check your blade. I'm going to go and switch out now. And we're going to come in and just kind of do her face a tiny bit so she can see. How are your power cords? You mean like this? The original monkey cord? It's not tangled up. <laughs> oh, is something going on with the other stuff? Oh, let me see here. You guys having some problems? What are you guys having problems with? Yeah, Marie, I'm live. <laughs> are you guys having some issues out there? Kind of 
repeat yourself because I'm not really looking at the screen. I'm over here trying to groom. I'm going to just do this ten blade down her head and stuff so I can start seeing her face here a little bit. You see? Up, up, up. Up, up, up. If you are not a subscriber and you're not sure what I mean, close the chat and make sure the subscribe button is hit. You gotta hit the X on the chat, and don't worry, the live chat button is right there. You won't lose it. Make sure you're subscribed, that way you get notifications, and quite frankly, sometimes notifications don't go out when we go live a few times a day, so make sure if you're interested in watching, you go to the channel dashboard. Let me move this eye, eyebrow forward here. Makio, what's up? I did see you say something like uh, when I was talking about recycling. If you're in an area you're scared to nick something, put that area that you think you might nick in, hold it. That way you don't nick it, right? It's, it's not nickable if you've got it held in your hand, right? Because these gloves are really hard to get used to around certain areas of the body here. You can see how they're in my way, right? So you have to just do something a little change of the way you've been doing something. So I'm, I'm worried about that skin. Well, I'm holding the skin, so that'll help, right? Open it up here. Worried about this back skin? Put it, it, put that back skin in your fingers, right? You go this way. Open the flap. Come straight out. Right? Just use the edge of your tin blade there. I hope you guys can see. Are you guys still having problems? Have fun fixing the car, girl. They do sell dog mannequins, and I have a couple here. They're on my website. Depends on what you need it for. Do you need it hanging? Oh, wait. Do you need it to use to groom? Very expensive, man. All right. Let's go into our new 10 blade Ultra Edge, and I'm putting on my four guard here. So we did a 10 by four. Let's come down. This is how I like to do it. And did you guys hear what mom wanted? When she asked, she, I said, what haircut did you want? Did you guys hear what she said? Did you guys hear what mom said when I said, what haircut are we doing today? The key is that, did the mom say that she wanted her haircut or did I say what haircut to have? Yeah, Dreamweaver, they do have them. Let me send you a link for one if you're serious, but I'm thinking it's like 150 to 300. And then I think you just do like uh, human stuff, kind of. You uh, just email me. I'll send you a link for it if you really want to spend that much money on it. Oh, we got a matted chest. We'll come back with a tin blade there. So she got uh, spayed recently, and she said, Mom said, that she was not having very much fun with it. She was chewing it and stuff. And I said, well, you should have called me. I would have given you a loner for free, right? A loner comfy comb. Those are amazing. And she goes, no, Dee, do you know what I did? She goes, I put a shirt on her, and it worked. And I said, oh, that's good. That's good stuff. But I guess it took a while to heal because she was really chewing at it. Okay, we got If that, t right now, that matted area on her chest is pulling into that guard, so you don't keep going with the guard, or it will pull right into the tin blade. All right, let's come back now and, first of all, let's see what we're working with. Let's move all this stuff out of the way, right? Look at all that's your hair, girl. That's your hair. 
All right, now let's come in with our brush. I'm using a large bristle brush. Come down this way. The foreguard doesn't go down the arms real well, so you may kind of come back with a seven blade. hear that, can't you? Bear with me, Angel. Okay. Let's just come back with our tin blade here. Kim, Kim, I'm going to clean out her armpits real well here. Skim, skim, skim. Okay, can you sit, uh, stand up? Here we go. Good job. Come down her chest. This is what I like to do personally. Get all that cleaned up there anyway. It's super duper hot. Skim, skim, skim down here. Okay, come down. That's a knock in there. Be careful with the armpit. Can't see it. Oh, it's slow. What's that? Darn, man! I was trying to get some packages ready, but they're not ready. I'm sorry. Uh, it's not your fault. But thank you for walking in that stuff. <laughs> Where is Yolanda? I'm so confused right now, man. <laughs> You're not Yolanda, dude, but you have a great personality. Thank you. So am I going to see you full time or they know yet? Probably till Saturday. Till Saturday. Okay, okay. And then it switches up. And then you get your new carrier. Oh, really? Do you know who it is? I've heard he's got an attitude issue. Oh, great. Yeah. Just one of those situations? Well, I'm going to have to give him some chocolate. Yeah, no, I've heard he's got an attitude, but... Really? I didn't know he's got You know that? You know he has an attitude? What's his name? I don't even know his name. Oh, that's all, gosh. I said, that's all I know. I know that they said he's got... Have you seen him or met him yet? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, okay. No, I just know that they said... One of the guys said they met him at another station, and when he was there, they were like, yeah, he's, he's a good carrier, but some days he's just... Real moody? I was like, hmm, that's going to be awesome. Well, we'll see. Leave a note on there just say, my favorite groomer is real moody when you go in. <laughs> I bet he won't even bring in my... Oh, don't fall! I didn't, I didn't fall. <laughs> You know we're live right now, right? Really? Yes. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. <laughs> you guys, uh, our mailman came in. He's so sweet, man. You should, he almost tripped and fell. Are you okay? Yeah, okay. <sighs> I think she's too many packages out. Where? You leave them there? No, I'm going to grab them. Oh, okay. I couldn't this get time, them yesterday. You don't mind grabbing them this time? Yeah. Great. I just was loaded yesterday. So. Will you check that left, uh, the left United States bin? Yeah. And see if I have anything in there? Right here. No, no, no. This one, uh, the white one. That white one right there. United States Postal Bin. Nope. The low one on the left. Oh, no. Nothing? No. Yeah. Just those two boxes and it'll be great. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I appreciate that. Woohoo. Lawrence is no longer with us, Mikio. Did you guys know Lawrence's fiance who passed away as well? Man, it's been tough. Tough stuff, man. This, this month and the end of last month has been really tough. For a lot of people. Okay, all right, let's get to work, huh? What's going on with this? Okay, I guess we're gonna wait and wash it all out. You got a lot of big snot stuff in there. Hey, will you still swing by every now and then? How's it going? Bye. Okay, let me make sure there's no notes on the feet. No, I don't have any notes on the feet. This and that, this and that. Great dog is what I've got here. <laughs> yeah, Angel. 
Oh, Chelsea, then you know what I'm talking about. It's something's something. It is up. We had two moons, something like two moons last month or something like that. And uh, right now, like Uranus is in tune with like. It, uh, anyway, there's a lot going on, man. There's a lot going on that's beyond our control. It's like everything is clean, cleaning itself up right now. And I don't think this is the end of it. This is uh really going to be challenging so make sure you got your ducks in a row you keep people out there Lawrence is um, a carrier in a different city now so he we're not going to see him no more uh, I'm really glad uh, are you what are you doing don't lick don't I don't know what you're doing girl you see that I was like what are you I know the tongue came out and got wet <laughs> but she's never tried to bite me before you just never know I told you don't ever put your guard down doesn't mean it won't happen. Maybe that surgery got her, you know, upset. Marie, do you know what I'm talking about? I have literally changed my whole life. You guys have no idea. Uh, my whole world has changed and it matches exactly with what is happening. You can see my shop right now. I have totally renovating. From my files to my household, everything has changed. And it's very interesting that I went back. I wasn't reading my horoscope, but I went back and looked at the universe, and I was like, wow, all this is happening, and I'm doing this stuff? This is all making sense now. Is anybody else cleaning up house? Don't look at me like I understand. Anybody else cleaning up house out there? Ooh, new subscriber. Okay, by the way, I'm doing a 40 down the legs, okay? All right, sorry, 40 on the pads. And I'm gonna take, like I told you, if you can't get that, anyone else cleaning up house, like, like not little stuff, but big stuff. Big stuff is happening. Your relationships, your furniture, your office, your household, your employment, everything. You're just like flipping around upside down. You didn't even know what was happening. And now you're like, oh, Dee Dee says, the universe is, go read, I'm not just saying it myself. Go read about it right now. Things out of your control. So I got my seven blade here, I'm just doing a skim, skim, skim. Because the legs are a little bonier, so you're gonna find that the four guard, the attachment comb is kinda doesn't go smoothly down. And we're gonna trim up the feet anyway, so right, it makes total sense to do a skim, skim with your seven blade. Now the idea here is, is that we do a 10 by 4 and we try to avoid matting until she comes back in. And by the time she comes back in, how she looked earlier, right? It's grown out in a decent little schnauzer cut. It looks pretty good. Now when I was at PetSmart, they actually told me that uh, they taught me a shadow skirt. So this, we would do a 10 by 7 blade and there would be nothing there. In like a month, you would have like something like this. And in like two months, you would have a little bit of a skirt and legs, right? In three months, it would be a full on skirt, legs, everything. It looked great. So shadow would be a 10 by 7. There, there would be nothing there today. But just give it a couple weeks, and you start cut, seeing this come in on its own. So, um, Angel and I are going to go to the bath, and we're going to leave you guys on a quick break. You guys can chit-chat. What I would talk about is uh, some of the things you guys might be going through, um, some of the losses you might have had, and know that we're all with you as you share that I would say uh, don't put the devil's tongue in the light if you're going through something you know ask for prayer and know we're all here you know on a positive level to kind of help you through that listen to you and not judge you as best we can because I think it's a human nature to judge while we go to the bath we'll be right back right here we go.
How did it go? Hmm? Hi. <laughs> you did so good. Yes, you did. Hey. Hi. Hi. Hi, Angel. You smell me? You smell my breath? Yeah? Okay, let's redo everything. Man, we've got so many watchers in Australia, you guys. It's pretty cool. I like all that pink stuff going on, too. Okay. You ready for this? <laughs> We're going to just double check everything on the 10. I'm going to let your oh, gloves. This is why you need a bather, right? So the bather does all the bathing and you don't have to keep changing these gloves, man. Just counting the waste over here. So a barber, I have to double check, a barber that I've seen, I don't think they change their gloves in between people. They just wear the same gloves, one pair of gloves all day. Are you got any barbers out there that can confirm? Any barbers out there that can confirm? Sorry, hold on, look up so I can get this. Good morning. What can I help you with? I figured out your problem, I'll agree. What the? What? What, is it? what time is it? <laughs> it's 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock. I need to go hustle bustle, man. Oh, not too bad. 10 o'clock. Our appointment is 9.30. She's 9.33. Remember that seven's going to come back and fix some stuff here, so that's good stuff right there. Share, share, share it on your Facebook. Put that on Facebook, girlfriend. Let it be known.
Got four guard. Yeah, but then how long that has that been? But that's why you have unstable connection. Yeah, but that's, um, I never did that. Sure you did. <laughs> no. It's you. That's an unstable connection. Uh, that's why people keep lagging on, on the speed. Yeah, but I didn't do that. Connecting it now. That's been that way for like a month then. A month. Seven, sweep and seven. Let's double check. So those of you guys just getting here, make sure you go back and watch the very beginning of the video. That way you can get everything that was happening. So I've already gone through one forty and three ten blades and one four guard and one seven blade. So Enderby, what did um? Do you know? Do you wear gloves when you're doing people's hair? No? Nope. Yeah. A grande. A grande double shot on ice. Uh, grande. Don't get. Once they do it, they take that grande and turn it into a venti. Something happens. I don't know, but it's. I don't like it. it doesn't even taste good. I think they just add extra water and milk. So you lightly skim with your seven blade. Because, I mean, I'm not trying to do a seven. I'm trying to keep it at the. Four guard. Get your shaper brush. Do you wear? Oh, she doesn't even wear gloves, so I can't relate. But a barber will wear gloves, right? And I had a barber question a few minutes ago. Not everybody wears gloves, see? But I want to wear gloves. That's the choice. I want to make that choice for myself. Y'all know why. I, I haven't come up with that video yet, but it's coming. I promise you, it's going to be really good. But it took 16 years coming for me to put on some gloves, so if I can help you now, if you're a starting groomer, if you're an up-and-coming groomer, there's a few things I wish for you. Wear a mask, wear glasses. I haven't be felt my hearing take its toll, but also I'm not in a very loud groom shop, you know, for the most of the time I've been in my one-on-one -on -one dog grooming shop. But a lot of loud barking, a lot of loud blow drying all day long, I believe that would take a toll on my ear hearing. So make sure you have all those things. Goggles, ear, ear safety. Skim, skim, skim here. Um, face mask, multiple face masks. So you can always, I've got six right here and then two right there and one in the laundry, right? All different kinds based off of my mood and how I'm breathing that day and how thick I want to wear and what's dirty and what's clean. And different fabrics too. Okay, back to our tin blade. You guys are going to see a video of me taking out a like three to six month old splinter. And I had thought I already got it. It was dip, deep, 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 and it was very painful. And at that point, and that was like a month ago, I told myself, you may not like it, but you have to wear gloves. Like, I'm, I'm tired of digging splinters out of my hands. I'm done with it. I'm like, done, done, done. So, it's up to you. You don't have to do what I do. 
but if I'm doing something, there is a reason. And honestly, it, like it's not I don't do it for you, right? I do it for myself. Cuz you are not going to fix my hand later. I am. I'm going to live with my hand and have to deal with my hand, right? Okay, hold on here. So have a flea comb here by your station and also a flea comb in the bath. So when you have to do certain things, it's right there. I'm going to come over here and get my 8.5. Just come in a little bit here. See something back there? Go ahead and take it. David saw you guys complaining about the, uh, and I don't mean like bad, but mentioning or talking about whatever you want to call it, the cord, <laughs> the, uh, you smelling something? The uh, cord or whatever. <laughs> so he freaking showed up, man. He's lucky he doesn't have school today. He could actually show up. I don't know what he's doing. I was like, what are you doing? I was like, what are you doing? But he he heard you guys. He got in his car and drove all the way down here to come check a cord for you guys. Because, you know, I'm not going to be able to do that. I can't leave this client right here and go do that. It's just not going to happen. So thank you. Thank you, David. I'm going to give him some uh, compensation for his time. His time is so valuable. I don't like taking people for granted at all. Speaking of taking people for granted, um, I just have to do one more quick shout out for a company that I had hired to do my roof here in Texas. It's called Aspermont Roofing. Wow, he, he really, really helped me. And I just... Uh, he was a blessing to me, and thank you so much, uh, Dave. I really appreciate you. It really meant a lot to me. The work you did and the timely manner you did it in, I mean, three days. I mean, he was back in three days and finished the job, and it was awesome. Clean. I didn't have to worry about anything. So if you need a roof, I know this is, this is no compensation, anything like that, for this uh, shout-out. But just thanks a lot, Dave, with Aspermont Roofing. I will hire him again. It's like no doubt. time to get into the face girl let's come back here let me see here don't get so let's get our finger pad here ear hair puller pad now help me get, just wipe this all quickly quit that well some of this is if it's not in the ear ear canal itself I'm not gonna we could shave, you could do the shaver, you know. Ooh, that's a big chunk. Just in the ear canal, Angel. Just 
She's got real dark ears too. It's kind of hard to see. All right. Let's get our other hemostats now. Let's go to this side. so you can kind of see what's in one ear versus the other ear. I just like to do little by li little by little. Not I don't like to do the whole chunks thing. I think it's too painful. And I do have the hemostats that do not lock. I don't believe in those. To tickle a little bit? Yeah. Okay, you can get all this stuff on myfavoritegroomer.com. Right, we'll wash all these. Let's come back and trim these up. She is an angel. I needed an angel this morning too, so this is perfect. It's perfect timing. Gloves do make it harder on the ears. I do need it. If she can't wait till I, I got to put it on my calendar. I have to order some gloves. Why are people saying FaceTime? Excuse me? Like why are people saying FaceTime on the chat? I don't know. I'm not, I don't know what's going on there. No. I don't know. I'm not, I didn't see anything about it yet. This is a 6.5, I believe, ear shear. It's straight, point, point tip. I use them on every ear. Come in with this flea comb here and get this eye booker out here. Flip this around to the other side here. Yeah, look at those eye boogers. And wash that. I would look inside the ears and see what is going on with the Wendy. You know, they double check, ask the groomer what they're doing. Um, are they check in the ear? There could be ear powder in there. Okay, all right. Let's move these eyebrows. I got my Tim blade. I'm gonna come chisel all this out here. Let me see, please. Let me see, please. Hold on. Let me see, please. Up, oh, Angel. Angel. Chisel that out and skim, like so I can leave most of it. Just kind of bring all this out so you can see the eyes here. Okay. I'm gonna have to move this. This is ridiculous. I don't like you there anyway. That silly tool. You can go to myfavoritegroomer.com under the shear section. Oh, thank you. David just posted a link for you. There's a couple things that I've done. Um, consolidate some tools for you. 
under the kit section so that you can grab a few things all at once and get a few bucks off. And then the more you spend, the more you get closer to that free shipping or get that free shipping, okay? And remember, nothing's free. I'm still paying the shipping. Companies are still paying the shipping. Shipping has to be like a flight and everything, doesn't it? It's not just they drive it down the road to your house. Mmm. Okay, real. This glove thing is pretty interesting. Okay, let me just come back this way. Let's go this way. I got my 8.5s. You can turn this around if you want to do this. Ah, ah. Don't look at me like that. I look forward. Good girl. Don't. David, what are you doing, please? I'm here by myself for a reason. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Please go back over there. While you were walking over here, we were both listening to you. Thank you. You guys have to do that at home. Your husband's walking around going, I'm like, go sit down. Do you not see what I'm doing here? Or someone gets hurt. Okay, now let's work on this one. You hear that horn? So did I. I see, place. Let me see this way. Come here. Look up. Look up. Good girl. Good girl. You can come down here at the sides. I'm going to leave that. I like it. I'm going to do some point tip here so you can't even tell I'm trimming some of this. All right, still looks choppy, natural. Have a good hold on that mouth. You don't want to hurt anything. Right? You know what I'm saying? Okay, here we go. Not many. I want to spend more time with you guys. So I revamped everything, including my schedule. Kathleen Durer, I love you. Kathleen Durer, how's your husband doing? I wanted to call you yesterday and the day before, and then I've just been so busy. All right, so we're going to use the uh, dog up sand. We're going to get a little bit of support here. Don't let me forget, clean the ears. We're going to do a, uh, she's a baby girl anyway, so we'll do a small comfy cone. Just because she gave me that look, you know, when I was doing her nails. Mm -hmm. Where are your glasses? All right, let's do these toenails. The scissors are on myfavoritegroomer.com, girl. All of them I use, and they're also in the Andis 5 Speed Kit. I know you guys can shop anywhere you like, but if you're learning from me, watching me, you support, support me. You can shop at myfavoritegroomer.com. 
you can shop anywhere you like, but when you want to love someone and support them and support what they do, that's why you shop with them. Let me see. I know you're, you're hesitating a little bit. Let me see. Oh, you're welcome, Kathleen. You're so welcome. I got some a gift coming to you soon, okay? I'm gonna pinch myself, remember all this stuff. I need to have a notebook sitting over here. <laughs> okay, Angel, I'm gonna get in and out of there. Don't worry, girl. Let me get in and out. Let me double check. I believe we did these already, yeah. Good girl, you did so good. Yes, you did. You did so good. How many of you guys are traveling next week? Anybody traveling next week? Who's traveling next week? Anybody? I'm going to get my 8.5s again. See a couple things here. Sometimes it's moving around, sometimes it's static. My toes, because I didn't brush them forward. Thank you all for being here. We're about to wrap it up. If you have any last minute donations, I didn't ask for donations today very much, but if you want to contribute or donate to the feed, please do so now. You can shop at myfavoritegroomer.com. Thanks for hanging out with us. Thanks for being a part of everything we do here on YouTube. I couldn't do it without God, and I could not do it without you guys. So thank you so much for being here. If someone tries to come into your world and bring you down, do not let them bring you down. If someone comes into your world and tries to tell you you can't do something, do not let that happen. If you want to do something and you have motivation to do something, you put your mind and your heart and your passion to it, and God will fulfill your dreams. Dream big, I say. Well, you'll have to go back and watch it, Angela. Or, I mean, Amber. <laughs> if someone tells you you can't do something, don't you dare stop and believe them. You just keep on pressing. If someone tries to stop you from doing something you love, don't you dare believe him. You just keep on pressing. There's a lot of evil tongues out there, a lot of evil keyboards and people behind those keyboards. Don't you dare believe them or listen to them. You set your own path. You and God sit down and set your own path. Don't let no one tell you no, okay? I remember people telling me no. Dee Dee, you can't do that. No one's gonna come to a groomer that grooms in an hour. I said, just let me do what I'm gonna do. I almost believed him. Dee Dee, you're not gonna be successful. You're not gonna be able to do that. Don't believe people. Sometimes the devil wants to come and set you back and try to put that foot in the door and make you not be successful, hold you back. Just the word, the evil word itself will try to push you down. Don't you dare believe it. Someone does believe in you. Someone does love you. Someone like God is there for you. They're going to help you come through your favorite dream, okay? Dream big. No is not in my vocabulary. That's exactly right. No should not be in your vocabulary unless it's a benefit. Like if someone said, asked you to do something that's not right, okay, don't be afraid to say no, but... All right, we're good to go. Thanks for being here. We appreciate you. Thanks for your donation. Thanks. Kathleen, woohoo! Thank you so much. You're the best. Woohoo! Kathleen was our number one and only uh, donator today, so I appreciate, appreciate you, Kathleen. That washer and dryer is coming over, I think, in a week or less, so thank you. Thanks for everything you so do. I appreciate you. Did you show them the cut? Not really. Show them the cut, man. That's awesome. Look. It's the best schnauzer cut you will ever see. 
You want to stand up, Angel? Stand up. I swear she's that, ready to go. You're I swear if you go. went to competition, this would win you. No, 12 no, I'm not going to go to competition. 10. I'm not trying to do that. I'm not trying to do that. Competition on harder handle grooms, the best haircut, Dee Dee wins. <laughs> no questions asked. Say thanks, David. Thanks for the powwow, man. I love you guys. What's, what's her name? Princess? Angel. Oh, Angel. I was thinking Princess. Angel. You need it. Well, I want to see you do that thing. Look at her eyebrows. Go get, oh. Will you go? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Will you try it? Yeah. Where's oh my it? gosh. Where's you guys want to see something? You guys want me to show you something? Where Melissa P. Wow. Thank you so much. Where is it? Woohoo! Thank you so much. Okay. Um, they're Where? hanging. Oh, David's gonna try this thing. Okay, I'm gonna. I got when David comes back. Okay, we got these things from Hawaii. They're actually made, made from Hawaii. Okay. So we uh, supporting a. Huh? Is that the yeah, but I got, you gotta look up what it, what it's called first. You guys want to hear this thing? Okay, okay, okay. I'm sorry. Let me text your mom. So, let me see. You. Oh, I can't. Like directions for free. Can you get my, mine's in my purse? But I want to text the mom so mom can be on her way. It's exactly 10:30, so I didn't lose too much time. Will you pull it up online? It's under the gifts and see what I called it. Oh my gosh, there's this thing. <laughs> <laughs> Wait for me, man. Oh my gosh, this thing, man. Wait. Okay, I suck at it, and I, I did it so long. In, you want to see what I got? I did it so long in the car that I made my mouth, like, you know how you never gamed before, and your eyes are so sore after you've been playing games for a while? After you played that juicy fruit game or whatever? Ooh, UPS is here. Wait, how yeah. Far, how far back did you put it, dude? It's far. It's under gifts. Yeah, I'm looking under gifts. It's under oh, yeah, squeaky toy or something. What is it called? What did I name it on the site? This this name here. The oh. whistle? Hold on. Hold on, hold on. I'm gonna change. I'm gonna change yeah. Okay, so you put this on your mouth. I couldn't get this right in the wait, car, you man, guys. Wait. Hey, hey, UPS! Oh man, you guys like I got dog food too. in the house. Timberwolf in the house. If you want some Timberwolf, call me. They, you can, anywhere's good. I'll, I'll rearrange right. it. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you so much. Good to see you. All right. I might see you again this week, so. Okay. Holla. All right. Bye. Bye. Place it on your tongue with the white side down. Hey, hold on, man. Okay. Flat side out. What the heck? It's all flat, you know? Then press to the roof of your mouth. Oh, God, you get it wet first? No. Maybe my. No, she'll be able to use it more than once. Tip, tip, tip. I think I have it wrong, man. How do you do this, bro? I think I need a new one. I think mine absorbed this 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 uh, thing in. Oh. This is hilarious. You it can't is. get it. You have to practice, man. Dang it. Talk while it's up there. It has to sit on your roof, the roof of your mouth, not on your tongue. Which way, bro? It says place on tongue, white side down, flat. Side out. Flat side out. Oh, maybe. Oh. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> Throw. Look at the camera! 
Stop, it's too loud. <laughs> hey, stop, go away. What are you doing? That's too loud. <laughs> I can't, I can't stop, man. I was laughing. <laughs> I can't. You have to stand in front of the camera. It's too, oh my god. Oh god. <laughs> Stop. It's so loud, man. Tickles your tongue though. Okay, come on. Mom might be watching think I'm a freaking idiot over here. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry, girl. Okay, hang on here, okay? One moment. Stay there. I haven't quite figured it out how to do it yet, but they're called Funny Whistles on our website. I'm gonna post the link now. Funny whistles, they're super affordable, so get yourself one now. <laughs> it's up on the top of my roof, in my mouth. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> Second time I've used you have it. To rinse it though, bro. Oh really? Yeah. Does it say rinse it? Yeah. So you know what I would probably do? You could probably get like uh, apple cider vinegar, you know, and kind of rinse it off like that uh, with that. Out, no? Well, you're only gonna know. You're only gonna <laughs> try, try it and, and find out. So I'm gonna keep it over here. As one of the tools that I can use you need to, to practice. get that, you know, it's, it's like 10 times he said, the gentleman who sold it to us, a whole bunch, right? It's like he used it 10 times or something like that. Like, it's reusable. So. You're supposed to be able to make different noises. But we right, I ha right, you, you have, have to play with down. it. And so if you blow on it with it, it takes a minute. It took me like 20 minutes to get it right. And then I was just driving around, just playing with it in my mouth. And then that night, my mouth was super duper sore. So take your time Hi. learning. <laughs> <laughs> David sounds like a dolphin. Did you see how loud he made his? <laughs> Only Angel could have been that great with it. But gets their, their attention of the dog, right? And so they can take a picture or whatever. So fun. But anyway, so kids love it too. So if you have any kids or grandkids, get them one. We only have a handful of them because we only carried so much back. So make sure if you want some, go order it. It's on myfavoritegroomer.com under the gift section. Oh my gosh, so crazy. And then David also just put the link, right? Oh yeah, I did. Did not go to the phone. See if he puts the link. Oh, I'm sorry, Mikio. <laughs> it upset her birds. Oh, they they did probably not. did not like it, girl. So if you have birds, maybe this is not for you. <laughs> you also make bird noises too. Yeah, so I don't know how to do it yet. I have to play around with it. But hey, a little something something because you know we I always make those noises. So I found something. I was like, I want some of those now. 
All right, you guys, thanks for being here. Thank you for your donations, Melissa P, Kathleen Durer. Wow, you guys are all awesome. You guys are my super fans. I really appreciate you. Thanks for sharing this. Thanks for letting people know what we do and that I'm a groomer and I'm not, I, I'm not afraid to show you what I do. And if, uh, just challenge your people to do the same thing. Because a lot of you guys are watching around the world, and you guys should know these are your babies. I know I do not want someone hurting my babies. I don't want someone doing something to my babies with kind of without my permission. Um, we talked to that YouTube fan who had you know teeth pulled, and the doctor didn't even call her and say, "Hey, we're pulling teeth." Some of these major things that are going to be ch changing the dog's mouth will never look the same. I can relate to her pain. Um, and by the way, if you watched that video, it was, uh, what was the name of that video when I talked to her that night? She got back to me the next day, okay? And she said, her husband said, I'm going to sign this, but I want you to make notes right there. He wrote on the form. But if you have to do anything major, please call us first. He wrote that on the form. So listening to what your clients and what your, yeah, listening to what your clients, no matter what you're in, massage therapy, haircut, barber, hairstylist, groomer, restaurant, server, whatever service industry you're in, the person paying for their bill should be able to say what they want as long as it's not going to hurt something or someone. Okay, it's not going to hurt you. It's not going to hurt the dog. It's not going to hurt. Okay, you should listen to what that client wants, which earlier I had that question. What did the client say she wanted? She said, I want exactly what we did last time. I want a short back and, and a little bit of a skirt and I want a haircut <laughs> and I want it short because my dog's hot. How? How do you know the dog's hot? Because she's licking. She's stressing. I can tell she's hot. So listen to what your client wants, not the other groomer over there. Not that person, not the other person that's just watching the show, not you, not them, not them, but the owner of the dog, the person ordering the steak, cook it how they want it, the person who wants to order vegan, the person ordering this, the person getting their teeth pulled, all these, we have to be, if you're in the service industry, you should listen to the client, what their needs are. If you feel like you can't listen to the client, then you guys are not in a good fit, you can always refuse service, or you as that person can say, you know what? I don't think we're on the same page. I'm just gonna go ahead and walk out because we're, we're not on the same page. Okay, don't be afraid to do that. I wouldn't have paid for it. But then again, they already make you sign something that you, you agree uh, The out. dental pooling? Yeah. You, you said you wouldn't have paid for, you're, you're making your own comment that you wouldn't have paid for yeah, what? I wouldn't have paid for the teeth pulling. I would have been, you guys did not call me and I wrote it on the paperwork to call me. Right, that's his opinion, right? So he said he wouldn't even have paid for that. So you would have stood there and fought with them? Yeah. It's the only veterinarian in this little town, though. Because I told him to call me first. Like, what if I couldn't afford them to pull teeth? True, right? True. It doesn't, it doesn't make sense for them to do that. What if you couldn't afford it and they did it anyway and charged you for it? I wouldn't have paid for it. I wouldn't. I wouldn't have gone with it. Love the lamp too. Oh, the lamp. <laughs> oh, you already know what the lamp's gonna do. It's just gonna collect hair. It looks beautiful, doesn't it? <laughs> and it's a great way for me to go in and out of my salon at all hours of the night. All right, I love you guys. Thanks for being here. We'll see you later. Shop at myfavoritegroomer.com and share, share, share. Don't forget to subscribe and smash the notification button. Bye. Bye. Where's our tarot? Are you still on? <laughs>